ニグニーエクセプロード<音楽>
She threatened to turn off my phone service, which I pay for, by the way. Naturally, I got mad, and then she opened the front door and let her dog out, so I had no choice to go after him. Living with a toxic parent, part two. So I normally keep my bag right there. Because when I come in, put it right there, go in the house, right? Well, I couldn't find it anywhere. And I asked my mom if she's seen it. Prior to this, I just got paid $100. And she responds with, no, why would I take your bag? I wouldn't take any money from you. Why would I steal from you? Keep in mind, I never said that she stole anything from me, including money. I just asked if she knew where my bag was. Yeah, so you mean to tell me that my bag crawled all the way over here by himself? I confronted her about it, and she called me a lying bitch and said that I'm always out to get her money. Her money. My $100 is missing, and she's $100 richer somehow. Toxic parent check. Put a finger down if your parent didn't like your friend because they had a tattoo, a piercing, or they smoked. Put a finger down if you have trouble communicating because anytime you wanted to stand up for yourself, you were seen as disrespectful. Put a finger down if you can't laugh too loud in the house without getting grilled or getting into trouble. Put a finger down if you were always made fun of for your weight, either you were too skinny or you're too fat or too something. Put a finger down if you fake sleep whenever you come into your room or you hide your phone under your pillow. Put a finger down if you haven't had a family dinner in years or you're constantly forced to join it. Put a finger down if you ate holidays or Mother's and Father's Day because it's too damn awkward. Put a finger down if you constantly doubt your career path because you don't know if it's what they want or what you want. Put a finger down if you've ever had Child Protective Services called on you. Yeah, they should have taken my parents away, the fuck? And put a finger down if you're considered the black sheep of the family, as you should end those generational curses. Whatever, you threw glass at me this morning, didn't you? You threw glass at me this morning, didn't you? And you want to sit there and lie about the door? And you that desperate for me to go to jail? This is, this is my house. So you can lie about me? So you can lie yeah, about me? Yep, you're right. Because I'm that desperate to get rid of me. That's cool. Don't care about you. Don't want you. Don't make me do it again. Dude. Seriously. It. Oh my God. What the fuck? This might be hyper specific, but honestly, on this app, I've learned somebody out there will relate. So tell me, what was the childhood joy that your toxic parent absolutely belittled you for? And when, as an adult, did you realize that's why you struggle to find joy in really basic things that everyone else seems to enjoy? Because you have a little voice in your head constantly telling you how stupid you are for enjoying that thing. My mom and I got into another argument lol. this point it's just really hard to accept the apologies they don't seem that genuine to be quite honest with you so no I'm not gonna accept your father's tired he's had a rough day so what if you don't think that children should be allowed to establish boundaries of any kind because they should only fear and respect you you're setting them up for abusive relationships in the future and you're being a toxic parent As if my life couldn't get any fucking worse. Well, guess what? It's my life, so of course it fucking did. So a parent of a friend of mine decided that it was her responsibility and duty to send the GoFundMe to my parents. To call my parents and tell them not only that I'm gay, but I started to GoFundMe to escape their household and get a car. So, <laughs> every time, I'm so done. I, 
I, I'm fucking, I'm gonna end it all. I'm, every time, every fucking time that it gets better, it just gets fucking worse. I hate people. My son died. If your toxic ass family ever tries to manipulate you by saying blood is thicker than water, kindly remind them that the full quote is the blood of the covenant is thicker than the water of the womb, which basically means the bonds that you choose to have in life are stronger than the bonds that you don't choose to have in life. Toxic is toxic in your family when you act like family. So whenever my parents do something to upset me, and they know they upset me, um... They buy me stuff, but all I want is an apology. Do you ever even think about how I feel? You, you know, you just spend your whole fucking time with her, and then you want to believe everything she says. You pick her over me. You don't even guess. Okay, whatever you want to Introduce yourself as something your parents have called you. Hi, I don't actually have depression. I just don't work enough. Nice to meet you. I'm lazy and because of that I'm gonna get nowhere in life. Hey, I'm an angry manipulative little bitch. Yo, black people are the only type of people I know that would laugh about child abuse. Yo, remember that time we was little and mama hit us with the baseball bat in our heads and we was leaking? Word, I remember that. Nah, but you remember that one time you came home two minutes after curfew and it was like zero degrees outside and she left you outside the whole night? Oh, word, I almost died that night. I was freezing my ass off. But nah, remember that one time we was playing basketball in the house and we almost broke the face so she broke it on our heads? Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yo, she is not to be fucked with, man. Mama don't play. So I'm definitely gonna ask you how you're sad when you have a roof over your head. Um, I'm definitely gonna ask like I did you a favor by bringing you into this world. And I'm probably never gonna be able to accept my own faults, but I definitely will belittle you on the daily. But uh, hey, I brought you into this world and I definitely can take you out, so. Hmm? Yeah.